Robin, introduce yourself. Where do you instruct? Hi, I'm Robin. I'm with Step by Step Gun Training in Naples, Florida. I don't understand Florida law. You could tell me anything. But from what this police chief said, and he said, real estate agents should not be armed because that person is going to take that gun away from you, close quote. Are the permits and licensing different for real estate agents than for anybody else? Absolutely not. The law in Florida applies as much to a real estate agent as it would to a doctor, as it would to a stay-home mom, a private citizen, no matter what. We all qualify under the statute of 790 in Florida. I understand that real estate agents, you know, pretty much by design, go into empty buildings with strangers. That would give you pause. On the other hand, taxi drivers face a very similar situation. Pizza delivery drivers a lot of people go outside of their neighborhood to go see strangers. Don't they face a similar risk? Absolutely. Every environment has its own unique set of challenges. It has considerations on how you would best defend yourself in that situation. And we need to think of all of the tools in our tool belt, not necessarily just a gun. You know, I know that real estate agents have their own personal challenges, but so do other professions. A real estate agent, by nature of their job, may have to go to a remote location. You know, they may have to take people with them. They're, they're not necessarily in control of who those people bring with them or their distance from what we would perceive as help to arrive. There's a wide variety of tools that they can use, you know, flashlights and pepper spray. You know, a gun is just one of those, but they have that right what do you think of a police chief saying that realtors should be disarmed? It puts out a potentially very dangerous message that real estate agents are not going to have guns. If you're creating a gun-free zone. That message is very dangerous. Our predator is looking for unarmed real estate agents. Robin, the police chief said that real estate agents were at a risk of being disarmed. Does that make sense? Well, in my mind, I think it fails to take into account the role of a concealed carry holder. I'm not a police officer. I am not responsible for catching and retaining offenders. I am not going after them and getting close to the offender. My goal is to repel an attack and to get out. And concealed carry, by definition, is concealed, and no one should know that I have a gun unless I feel threatened with imminent attack of for in fear of death or great bodily harm. So if I do my job right, nobody will know that I have a gun. Robin, have you had real estate agents among your students? We've had female real estate agents. We've had male real estate agents. Some are coming to the realization that, you know, in the worst case scenario, they might need to have that tool in their self-defense kit. But what I think is most exciting about it is they made the decision not only to carry a gun, but to get the training on the mindset that they would need to have and to really explore what it would mean to carry a gun. They're not taking it lightly. They're seeking out professional advice and really working through some scenarios. You know, they're practicing to be their own bodyguard, aren't they? It all boils down to training, training, training. So much information is available by reading, listening to radio programs, podcasts, books on tapes. You know, there's seminars we can attend, conferences and classes, but it's all about training our minds and our bodies how to handle the terrible situation. It's knowing who's around me and what they're doing and what am I going to do if the worst case happens. How much training does the state require if you're going to get a permit in Florida? It, it could be accomplished in as little as an hour to meet the requirements of 790, but ultimately that is just the beginning of your journey. Personally, when I sign off on a person to get their concealed carry permit, I will not do it in anything less than six hours. I spend the first two hours talking about mindsets and all of the various tools that they have in their toolbox. And then we spend four hours at the range, and they do draw, and they do, you know, they're walking around with a weapon in their holster, and they need to overcome that fear as well, because ultimately, if you are a concealed carry person, the world is a hot range. 
the higher your level of training, I think the less likely you are going to get yourself into a bad situation or have a delusion of what your level of skill is. It's important to know, you know, this is my draw time and this is how much time it takes me. Ultimately, it's the mindset of it all that's so important. If a realtor, a delivery driver, somebody that delivered medical supplies wanted training in the Naples, Florida area, how would they get a hold of you? We have a website at stepbystepguntraining.com. We offer private instruction. We offer group instruction. We can come to your office, your home. We can take you to the range. We model ourselves with a concierge service. If you have a unique need that you want us to address, then we will tailor and create a class. Thank you, Robin.